Now, as most people have already known, Halo 5 recently, well, a few weeks ago, came out with a minor update where ad they added a new mode. This mode is um, the Halo C throwback anniversary playlist. And so far, people have, while I find it a great thing, I think most people have very misinterpreted it. Now, I want to get out of the way in this. If this is what they have to represent a classic playlist, I'm sorry, but for as good as this update is, it cannot represent a classic update, and I will explain why. Now, before I get into all that, let's say what the update does right. For one, it does capture that experience upon playing on the classic maps, and it's also fun just kind of having that throwback with the classic weapons, the classic maps, and for a lot of people, they were wearing the classic armor. So, it was fun to see that in the logical sense that it was enjoyable. And just like the regular arena in Warzone, it divides a new way of playing. Rather than playing the way Halo 5 normally does, you need to be a lot more reserved. Especially since the way you play mostly is with the CE pistol. And compared to the regular Magnum, it operates very, very differently. Now, the majority would say it's more OP, it's more powerful, but at the same time, it innovates a new skill because it basically forces the player to play more reserved and more aggressive at the same time, do different tactics to take down your enemy. And I think it's something very interesting for the sake of the game. Um, the next thing I think it gets right is, well, the Ford creators that made these classic maps, I think did a fantastic job, not only from a design standpoint, but just an art standpoint. These are some of the most good looking uh, maps I have seen on Ford Canvas, and I find it really good. Um, the next thing I really like about the um, update is, or the mode, is well, despite it not, be, despite it, uh, my thoughts upon comparing it to a classic playlist, it did what it was meant to do, which was just to throw you back into some of the aspects of that old style Halo experience, just to put you back in memories, like, ah, I remember when this happened and that happened and when I saw this on that map. You know, it did a good job with that. Now, what's get out of the way what I don't like? And it's not that, well, personal flaws with the mode itself before is there is spawning issues, kind of just like the original CE, and, um, also, problem is, is that, um, due to the fact that the original CE didn't have Sprint in the, and this is where I say it can't replace a classic experience, like a classic playlist or the original experience, is the game, despite the maps being well designed to work well with its original design, I cannot say the same for the gameplay. Yes. Weapons and characters and stuff operate the same way, but due to the fact that you keep the spawn abilities and due to the fact that you can practically sprint, thrust, clamber anywhere you want, it practically breaks some of the map flow. And the main reason why is well, when okay, let's just say an example upon the map that's being played on right now Rat Race, or I think that's what it's called. The whole idea of that map is to represent constant movement flow to force the player to use flanking tactics and to mostly just keep moving and stay close to your team. This doesn't apply the same way due to the fact that thanks to sprint you can practically sprint to a teleporter and flank people from both sides and get the enemy trapped. And unlike the other 
the original CE where you had a pretty good chance because they moved pretty slow. So you, if you stay close to cover, you'd be fine. I can't say the same for this because if you're not in cover, they'll just... If you're in cover and they can't hit you, they will just thrust and spread around until they find an area where you they can. And the next problem is, is that the original maps aren't meant to operate with the new gameplay. And what I think is sad about this update as much as, or this mode as much as I love it, is it really does demonstrate how, you know, Halo 5's gameplay really does contrast to the original Halo gameplay and how Halo 5's gameplay can really contradict with some of the original designs of Halo and I, I think this finally kind of shows it because so many people just say oh you don't like the new maps it feels like classic Halo just a little bit faster it's fine it's really not and granted, how the game feels compared to Classic Halo, that's a discussion for another video. But, I'm just saying, in general, do not come into this mode trying to think that, you know, it's like... Don't come into this mode just thinking it's going to be Classic Playlist 101. I do hope 343 one day brings out a real classic playlist with no sprint, climber, thrust, or any of that, but only time will tell. But the point is, is that as much as we may wish it is, this isn't that playlist, sadly. And if we convince ourselves that it is, it won't turn out well. Mostly because if if we let ourselves think this is a classic playlist, it will be disappointing. I Personally, all I can say is enjoy it for what it is, which in my view, it's just a, a throwback. It, it is what it says it is. It's a throwback. It's a way to remind you of the originals. Just to say, ah, I remember when I played on this. Ah, I remember when this weapon used to be there. I rem remember stuff like... It, it's a memory thing. It's not meant to feel exactly the same as the originals, which I'm okay with. I'm just not okay with it. I'm not okay with it, um, what's the word? With it convinced, saying it's something that it's not. So I hope 343 does get a classic playlist because this doesn't represent it. Um, and if they're gonna do the C throwback, I hope one day they'll do it for the other Halos. Um, especially, I would love a Halo 2 throwback playlist. That that would be really fun for me, especially since while Halo 2 isn't my favorite Halo game, it is my. It's probably one of the Halo games, either first or second place as Halo game with the best maps, multiplayer one. Um, because Halo 2, I really do love their maps, and, um, it would just be fun, like, for example, just having, uh, the bow rifle and SMG starts, for example, that'd be kind of fun, and then you'd have, like, um, I don't know, just have, like, midship, lockout, uh, beaver, not beaver creek, uh, ivory tower, uh, Vans of Art, uh, such stuff like that. Um, you know, maps like those, and then just bring classic weapons in, because at this point, practically all the classic weapons are in there, and, like, the only thing you can't do is dual wheel, but, oh wow, I'm just saying it'd be fun. It'd be fun playing on those classic maps for Halo 2, but, you know, maybe we'll get that. Uh, and then yes, we do need a classic playlist, like on all the classic maps with classic weapons. Uh, personally, I probably wouldn't do CE Magnum starts because that's another thing you do have to balance the weapons accordingly, and I think the CE Magnum would be way too OP even for a classic playlist. I probably, my personal recommendation would be 
or if you are, at least increase the time to kill, that way, like, the health of every player, that way it's like, it won't do as much damage. That's probably my personal recommendation. So, hopefully though, they'll get a classic playlist out, and hopefully they'll, like, hopefully they'll get it out, you know, one day. Because this update is good. I'm not gonna say it's not, it, or, oh my gosh, I keep saying update. Um, I mean, um, playlist, or, yeah, mood. Uh, the playlist, it's good. And for what it is, it surely impressed me, but it just, it, it's to me more of a tease for a classic playlist that I'm still waiting for, and I need it. I need that classic playlist, because if I don't get a classic playlist, it's gonna be a bit sad. Especially since I've been really, really, I've been very much in need for a classic playlist ever since the game came out. So, hopefully one day they'll get it. And to do a minor comparison is that it kind of reminds me in some ways of the Reach throwback where it's like um, Reach had the anniversary map packs and they would alter the game a little bit to accommodate for that. But I think Sadly, as sad as it is, I actually think Reach did it better. Just because, if nothing else, Reach had... Even though Reach had Bloom, which kind of sucked. At least Reach didn't have... Um, at least Reach didn't have... Um, didn't have... Um, what's the word? What's the thing? Um, at least Reach didn't have, um, sprints in the abilities and stuff. At least it was kept classic and, you know, and I think due to how grounded Reach was, I think that also helped. So, yeah, sadly, even Reach did it a bit better, but oh well. And... Look, I'm not trying to end this in a negative, I, I, I'm trying to get it back to that positive note, but in the end, guys, it was a good playlist. It was good, and for what it was, it, for what it was, it surely pleased me. Um, however, we still need that classic playlist, and if nothing else, I would like the classic playlist just so one day we can try to put memories aside and actually, and actually kind of like, you know, get a classic Halo experience. Because sadly, and this is a minor rant at the end of the video, but it's something I have to bring up. It's a fact that sadly, Fans of the classic Halos are still being screwed in play, especially now. Because the problem is we've ran into three big problems. One, um, Halo 5 has no classic playlist. There's practically nothing to satisfy us from that quo. Now, granted, the MCC was meant to deviate us of that problem, but let's be honest, the MCC had a failed launch. And it's never going to be the same way again because practically the game is now dead or if not dead still has issues like come on we're we're over two years in and this game still has bugs and stuff and then the third and final problem is what we lied so much hope on which was halo 3 anniversary has now granted it could be false but frank o'connor did say Halo 3 Anniversary will not be made, and granted they could change their minds, but still, getting that announcement is just so deviant of hope, because it's like, practically now the classic fans of Halo, the ones that enjoy the old style of Halo, which I do, and I prefer it over Halo 5's comic, as much as I like Halo 5's, and as much as Yes, it can in some ways be a good evolution for the series. I really didn't like it that much. 
even armor abilities didn't feel that bizarre to me because at least with armor abilities they were very subtle now granted balance but still like if all you had would was halo 3 style combat with maybe maybe halo reach sprint or something that'd be good but aside from that i just don't think it would work but tell me what you guys think um thanks for watching the video guys um i hope you enjoyed it um please like this video up subscribe and um i will be trying to make more videos but no guarantees like i said before but i'll be trying to make more soon so until then guys i'll see you in the next video and uh peace out